Abby Francis closes down. What a save. What a save. What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more FC Nordlands and the right to dream. And today we continue on with our first season heading towards uh, the new year. Only a few more games to play this season in the Superliga, but you will notice we are starting on the page of Mohamed Diamonde, one of the most talented players at the club for sure. Come from the Right to Dream Academy, but a big injury to his knee, keeping him out for the next few months. Luckily though, of course, we do have a winter break. However, like always, I do think it would be a great start to check out our recent fixtures. And that begins with one of the most tricky games of the season thus far. Of course, our first game against Copenhagen, but Kamaldine Suleiman got us off to a great start again. It was that man, Abby Francis. I am falling in love with that player. Abby Francis has been unreal for us in that Mazala role. However, as you can see, we were caught out. I did play Erika Teng again as a left back after his debut in the last episodes. And it was really his mistake leading to that goal. Then Victor Fisher, who I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's been to Ajax in his career. He put Copenhagen up in the second half and we had to press really well. Great ball in by Daniel Svensson and it was Joachim Rothman equalising to make it 2 all on the day and I would take that for sure. We also made our debut in the cup this season, third round to start and to be fair, not too much to mention, a 1-0 win and it was a wonder goal by Chukwani who came in for I think his season debut. Next up, we were home to OB and this is quite a big game for us because they're predicted to finish right next to us in the league and it was Isaac Atanga with a wonder goal really, dribbling past the man, slotting it in and you can see their XG as well, 0.38, we defended so well in this one. That trend will continue against AC Horsens, a 0.23 XG they had, we had 1.35, we had our chances but the game would end 0-0 but that does mean since the first episode where we did look terrible, we have remained undefeated so... We've turned it around somewhat for sure. We haven't banged the goals in like I would have hoped in recent games. Really six games where we've only scored six goals, but only two conceded and five clean sheets in that spell. And quickly diving into the stats right now in the league, our XG, our expected goals for is third in the league. We're some way off Copenhagen, who are by far the best goal scorers in the league. And that has uh, come to fruition with their 27 goals right now. But also, if we take a look on the defensive side of things, we're only behind Olberg in expected goals conceded, 8.12, and we have conceded 10 goals. So we have conceded above what we would be expected to. We're playing really well defensively. Maybe we can improve going forward, but really, I'm very happy with how we're playing right now. All of that then does leave us fourth place in the league, 18 points right behind Mitchelland, of course, after losing that opening game. And we're well inside our target of that championship group just for now. And today we are taking on Lingby, who are a fierce rival of the club. You can see right here, we're a fairly new team as a whole, but they're predicted to finish 12th and bottom in the league. We need to dispatch this team. Looking at our team then, ready for this rival game away to Lingby, we have Vindal and Goal, our familiar back four by now. Mads has really secured that right back position. Jakob Christensen will play the deep line playmaker role. We have had Kufod playing there, but he has been pushed forwards into that central midfielder role with, of course, Dion Monde's um, injury right here. Real shame, but like I said, it's just how it goes, I guess. Abu Francis keeps his place in the Mazala position. Like I said, I am really, really loving this man's play. And also, I think Chukwani, who you did see score that goal in the cup game, is one of the players who could benefit from that injury to Diamonde. He's just 17 years old. Look how talented he is. I've hardly been able to play him just because of the depth and the number of talented players we have in this team. So Lingby enter the game. They're not on bad form. Two wins in their last five. You can see the away fans, the Norgeland fans right there. Um, to a time where COVID doesn't exist. Great to see. And yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm pumped for this game. So Jakobsen, early on for Lengby, on the right-hand side, Kamaldine, he does foul him, to be fair, this could be a chance, and Kamaldine could go into the book early on here, it's not ideal for our winger. So Lingby early on, do get the corner, Torp puts it in, Hansen heads clear very well, and like I've said so many times, on the counter, 
we can be lethal. Hopefully, Kamalzin carrying it the entire length of the pitch. Wrong decision. Should have played it to Atanga. 37th minute. This has been an absolutely drab affair right now. We need to be better in possession. Tycosin, what can he do here? Not many options. Plays it back to Kian Hansen. Nice play by us, just moving the ball. Abby Francis can move it further on. Instead, he goes back to Jensen, back into Francis, out wide, surely now to Kamaldeen, Sulemana. Look at that tempo, look at that touch. What can he do with the ball? Kufod, Victor Jensen, he shouldn't have shot there. So Lingby have a free kick right now, warming with the ball. If we can nick it, we can't get a foot in though. I do have, oh my word, I thought that was in for a moment. We do have Get Stuck In turned on for this game. And I'm hoping we can nick it in situations like that and try and push on up the pitch. They have three yellow cards already. That could be quite pivotal. But now another attack for Lingby on the stroke of halftime. Jensen heads clear. And now here we go. Abu Francis this time on the counter attack. What can he do? Plays it to Isaac Katanga. We're in behind and Isaac Katanga gets the goal on the stroke of half time, and we go 1-0 up away to our major rivals. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful play by Abby Francis. I mean, Natanga's pace is what has done us there. Clinical finish as well. We haven't seen enough of that from him, and that is exactly what we love to see. So just seconds to go to half time, warming with an ambitious effort, and that will take us into the half. Literally nothing happened for 30 minutes there, but then we really started to play into the final minutes, and we do grab the goal. Let's carry this into the second half early on then. In this second half, if we grab a goal early on here, we really will put our rivals to the sword. Kufos puts the ball in. Kamalzine, it's just over the bar. What a chance. 61st minute now, Svensson into Kamalzine. Good control right there. Gets in. Oh my word, it's a great save by Mikkelsen. Jensen should have scored. And now, straight up the other end. Luckily, Kamalzine is there to intercept Lingby. Working the ball now. Around the back. Over the top, Jensen should deal. And he does. Vindal picks it up. Vindal goes long this time. Atanga can't get on the end of it. And now Lingby have the ball. Christensen, great interception there. Abby Francis plays it to Atanga. Even his pace can't get there, but he nicks it back. Isaac Atanga. Oh, it's a good, good block. Corner for us. So right now, I'm pretty nervous. We're going to, I was going to say, make some changes right there. But now... Out wide, they have plenty of space on this right-hand side. Just stand him up, Svensson. Oh, it's a big tackle. Jakobsen, oh, that could have gone anywhere. Could have gone anywhere. Corner, Link B. We're holding on right now. Jonathan Eamon, the American, has come on. Can we use his pace now on the counter-attack? We seemingly can. Eamon carries the ball into a tanga. Intercepted, though. One change I will make then is put Rothman on and change him to a pressing forward. That is a role. I think I may use more of going forward as well. The minutes and seconds are counting down five added minutes. And we have a highlight. Jensen has picked up a little knock as well. Not ideal. Abby Francis though. Chukwani out to Sadiq, the substitute. Can he get the ball in? Winter, it's a good tackle corner to Norjaland. But really, I just want the full-time whistle right here. Can we maybe add a second though to put this one beyond doubt? Abby Francis whips it in. Luckily, we have men here. We need to go more defensive. We have 90 seconds to go to win the derby. It's a massive lump ball up to Nielsen. He made a good run. Jensen snatches it. He's given away a corner though. What was that? Jensen should have played that pass much more effectively. Last chance now. Torp puts it in for Lingby. Back out to Torp. Abby Francis closes down. What a save. What a save. Vindal. Oh my word. 20 Seconds to go. They put another ball in. We are backs against the wall right now. Rothman, hold this ball up or just get rid of it, please. Great ball. Chukwani bringing it forward. We have a man over as well. Chukwani, it's a throw in. We get the job done. Come on. It's a massive win. Another clean sheet for the boys as well. But we're going to get the win against our fierce, fierce rivals. In fairness, that wasn't quite as dominant a performance as we've had in recent times. They did have chances throughout but we will take that for sure. This is a big game today, massive game. I really want to try and prove that we have made this progress. I feel we have since that Mitch Island game in the first episode or second episode of the series. And if we do go on to beat them, we do jump them into third place in the league. We're looking comfortable in the top six right now. I don't think we can go on and challenge for the league this season, but I'd love to get a top three. 
Just one change today then. We're going to try and play our style of play still away to Mitchell Lang. Could be risky, but Jonathan Amon comes in for his first start of the season. The American has been injured for most of the time I've had at the club. Victor Jensen, if you see 6.6 .6 in his last five games, he hasn't really performed for us. So we're going to take the risk on Eamon today. Mitch Joyline come in then on great form, as you would expect. Interesting to note, Pione Sisto on the bench today. So we start off then, Kufor plays it out to Jonathan Eamon. Intrigued to see what type of impact he can have on the game today. That time, he is dispossessed. Oh my, they've given a foul. I think this will be overturned though. I'm not sure if we're going to get this penalty, but what a start that would be. No pen. <laughs> would have been great, but not to be. So Campbell Dean has the ball under pressure. Ambitious pass doesn't come off. Mabul picks it up. Oh my, that was a wonderful play by Mabul. Great effort as well. And he is the man who's coming for Sisto today. He looks just as dangerous. So Campbell Dean has the ball out to Spenson. Abu Francis, Campbell Dean's pass though, is intercepted. Sorry, Kaba, the big man up top for Mitch Island, and they settle on the ball right here. Schultz has it. If we can nick it though, we're in a great position. I want to continue to try and play this press. It's risky away from home against one of, if not the best team in the league. We're going to give it our best though. Now Dreyer has found space out wide for Mitch Island. Cools, I think the right back, pressing on right here. Camel Dean just close him down, hold him up. Sorry Kaba. what a save again by Vindal. He is on fire this episode. 24 minutes in then. I did just go to balanced instead. I think it will probably suit us a little better today. But Campbell Dean wins that battle. Plays it into Abby Francis. Svensson picks up the loose ball though. Can the Swedes get the ball in? A tango was there. But I think he was just depossessed. Uh, what a shame. But now Jonathan Eamon picks it up. Again gets the ball in. A tango. What a block. I was ready to go. Okay, so we're playing okay. We've limited them to just 0.24 HG right now. It was a similar situation in the first game against Mitch Island, And this was where we really fell apart. Let's hold on to half time. 45th minute though. And it is Isaac Atanga and Norge Lands pressing forward. Atanga, what can he do here on Yeka? Great challenge. He was the one who scored a bit for a wonder goal in the first game against us. Christensen, terrible efforts. Abu Francis! Seemed like he had the whole goal to aim for. That will take us to half time. And you can see the chance. That chance from Abby Francis. What a chance it was. I can't lie. I'm delighted with this game so far. I really am. Especially the second half of that first half. Um, and if we can continue playing that way. I really hope we will at least avoid defeat today. But now Avanza has the ball for Mitch Island. Back to Cools. Madsen picks it up in the centre. They do have some space on the left hand side. We can close that down though. Good ball into Mabel, showing off his pace right there again. He is a tricky customer. Resulting corner then for Ivanza. He will put it in. Sorry, Kaba gets there. Saved onto the bar by Vinzal. Great save again. He does keep it out. And as always, Kamaldine Sulemana picks it up. Dangerous on the counter attack. Can he deliver a ball? Wins a corner straight up the other end. So we have the ball. 56th minute. Svensson puts it in. Kamaldine Sulemana. Abby Francis. Back to Svensson. Good ball in. Kufor cannot win it though. Christensen picks it up. He needs to play that. It's not the first time this season he has been caught. He's, it's crucial that he doesn't get caught and make mistakes like that. Luckily, we have got men behind the ball now. Hopefully that won't cost us. But now Mabil has the ball on the left. It's a decent ball across to Dreyer on the right-hand side. Svensson, was that cleared against Campbell Dean? I think it was. Dreyer back to Onyeka. Madsen now holds the ball. If we can nick it, we are ready to go. But sorry, Kaba has it. Back to Madsen. There is the ball. I could see it coming out to the left back. We need to just stand him up here. They're pressing forward right now. Abby Francis can't win it. Mabil. And he has scored. The danger man. He's looked great all game. And he does put Mitch Island ahead. You could see it coming, to be fair. They were pressing onto us, pushing us, uh, pushing us back, penning us in. Francis lost that battle. Vindal couldn't move. It just goes in at the near post. We need to respond. So I will take off Christensen. He just doesn't seem to be at it sometimes. I mean, he looks really, really good and really well suited to that role. Wasn't really... I mean, he hasn't performed today. So Chukwuani, we're going to take our risk on our 17-year-olds. Put uh, Kufod back to that deep line playmaker position. Oh, and now we've got an injury. It's Isaac Tanga. He's had a terrible game. 
This could be a serious one. So we've gone very attacking now. We're really pressing forward. I've gone two up top. 85th minute, we do get a corner. Vitz Jensen puts it in. Header clear fairly easily. We're taking risks. I wouldn't be surprised if we concede, but we need to go for this right now. Abby Francis on the right-hand side loses the ball to Isaacson. Now picks it up. Can we win the second ball? Otherwise, I feel we could be exposed. But Kian Hansen picks it up. Kufod, Chukwuani, Rothman now working it. Vitz Jensen is up top with him. Tykosen on the right-hand side. Chukwuani outside of the post. It was so similar to that goal he scored in the cup. Just, just wide though. And that could be the end of us. It won't matter though because Ayrton will just miss that free kick. Almost a great goal. But we've run out of time here and Mitch Island do the league double on us. And looking at the XG match story, it has to be said, a very tight game until, of course, uh, we gave them a few extra chances. We probably did edge it, but they're a great team. What can you say? And so that is going to leave us still in fourth place in the league. But now we really have lost uh, lost touch with Ulberg, Copenhagen and really Mitch Island right now. Where if we can hold that fourth place, I think we can be happy with this season. OB are really challenging us. We did beat them earlier this year. Um, and then a massive gap back to the rest. So it's been a fine season. That loss, though, really has set us back a little bit, I feel. It looked so good before until that red circle. But guys, we can't be disheartened. We've had a great turnaround since that disastrous opening episode, I think. When we come back, we will be in February. So we could have some transfers to note. I had the first transfer window dis uh, disabled. Um, I guess you guys would have guessed there were no transfers um, that is basically because I prefer it to be slightly more realistic. So we could see some transfer offers. I'm not really in the market myself, but we could see uh, some offers for some of our players. But anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash that like button. Really helps out as always. Drop a sub to my channel as well if you're new. I'm also streaming over on Twitch and we have uh, the YouTube live channel as well. I will see you guys in the next one.